it's so good to be back home and to be back in the GPG. I want to thank, uh, I got back last night and I'd like to say thank you to everyone uh, who has been praying for me. Thank you for your kind prayers and thoughts uh, while I've been traveling almost uh, almost three weeks. And also for your warm welcome back. Uh, I, I noticed that there was a, a number of really uh, wonderful comments. I feel, I feel uh, it's good to be home. And I feel know, we missed you. We missed you, Peter. Yeah. So I I literally went coast to coast uh, in in the United States. Uh, I started in New York and was invited to uh, to speak uh, one evening at uh, Times Square Church, and then I went from there to Honolulu, where I was the guest of an Asian church that's pastored by a, a man who was from Singapore. And I was kind of keeping an obligation that I'd made uh, a couple of years ago uh, to them to come. I spent uh, five or six days in California with my three grandchildren and uh, my my daughter and her husband, my sister. So we had a, f a family time. And then I ended up in Dallas, Texas, where I was the uh, guest of Christ for the Nations uh, Institute, where I was a student exactly 50 years ago. And so it was quite an, an honor to to come back as as the guest speaker that week, because uh, I can remember, you know, sitting in that same auditorium, uh, you know, just kind of in awe of these guest speakers who came in, you know, because when uh, uh, Rita and I went there, uh, we were just um, we, we hadn't been believers more than a year. And in fact, we hadn't been married more than a year. <laughs> And it was really uh, a life-changing changing time. So it was a great uh, time um, for me personally. But I really felt like the message God gave me was to try to awaken the uh, the church in North America to the, the dangers of our time and the spirit of Amalek that's uh, uh, been been loosed uh, in the world. And uh, to, to make the point that... that um, that the United States is not going to be spared. It's it's like it's, the United States is going to be involved in this, and that it's important for the for the church to to rise up as watchmen uh, and to proclaim uh, God's word and to and to stand uh, and to know why they're standing powerfully uh, with Israel in in these days. And uh, having been in the United States, I saw that uh, the there's a wide spectrum. Uh, of people who are completely uh, blind to this. Uh, uh, there are uh, whole areas that are just asleep. And then there's areas of the church that are awakening. And then there's a remnant that are already uh, on fire, you know, and, and standing standing with Israel. It's the, it's the entire spectrum. Um, I really felt like it was important to, uh, to, to bring this message because it's, this is a, a turning point for us, we're, we we in Israel, though uh, the issue is uh, you know for us as a small country, and um, you know in in terms of the whole whole wide world, you know this one attack on October seventh, only only twelve hundred people were murdered, you know. Uh, but it, I think those of us here in the GPG and those of us in Israel, we realize how 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 important this this turn is this. Our country will never be the same, and it, the impact on the world is is going to be is is already very great, but is going to be even greater. Uh, history doesn't repeat itself, but it's been said that it echoes, and and there are echoes now of of the rise of of Nazism a uh, hundred years ago in Europe. Um, while I was in Dallas. Uh, my friend uh, Dennis Lindsay was showing me some of the things that he's uh, he's collected over the years because that's a ministry that has stood with Israel for decades, uh, going back to the 1960s when when his father, who founded the the Bible school, went to Israel and, and uh, actually bought property there. I mean, it was really their 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 very staunch uh, uh, allies in, uh, in the spirit. But he showed me a, a page from an American newspaper that someone had given him. Uh, as a memento, and it was a page from, uh, from I think, a, a newspaper in Iowa, right in the center of the United States, on November the 10th, 1938. So the day following Crystal, 
Kristallnacht, okay, the day when when Nazism burst out into the open and the synagogues were burned and Jewish stores were were, uh, were trashed uh, on in the streets uh, of, uh, of of Germany. Uh, the next day, it was carried in the newspapers in America, and it it the 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 memories of 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 learning about uh, that really s- struck me that that had the world known that it, hitler while he was blaming the jews for every problem in germany and around the world and promising that he would he would fix that problem when he was rising to power a uh, 100 years ago had the world known that it wasn't just that he would uh, uh, attack the Jews and try to carry out his promise, but he would also drag the world into war, they would have stopped him, had 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 the world known. Uh, and uh, when he was rising to power, he had influential uh, American uh, supporters and encouragers. Uh, Henry Ford was an earlier, early uh, supporter of Adolf Hitler politically and thought uh, highly of him at, at, as a leader. Uh, Charles Lindbergh, the first man to fly solo across the Atlantic, an American hero. He also was a was a, a supporter, an early supporter of uh, of Adolf Hitler um, politically. So you know, I think there's there's echoes of that, and in uh, what I'm my perception in the United States is that is that Americans yeah. don't know which way to turn or why, and yeah. and it's so important for the church to get the message of Israel and to stand really strong in this day. Um, there's a lot of um, misinformation and uh, a, lot, a lot of deception. The, the idea of the, of the two-state solution being, uh, you know, it's just, you know, the, a lot of slogans, you know, from the river to the sea. People say that, but they don't really know which river or what sea, you know, <laughs> seriously. Uh, uh, and people talk about the two-state solution, but but don't take it to the next step. What is the nature of this state that you're that you're promoting? Uh, because that really uh, is is the heart of the issue. So I think there's a lot of of work for us to do in prayer and in speaking out uh, to the church around the world. It's really is time for the church to stand and uh, and a wake up call. Uh, needs to be uh, given to Israel. I, I told them that uh, the, the Jewish people are the canaries in the in the mine, <laughs> and uh, the 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 uh, the the warning uh, the warning light, you know, on the on the on the dashboard for so much of uh, what's uh, going around going on around the world. Very briefly, here in the north, having having returned, uh, what I'm sensing is there's a, a deep determination. Uh, in uh, in the, our our community uh, to deal with the issues that we know are going to arise and a preparing a sense of of preparing ourselves uh, spiritually uh, and practically as well as emotionally for conflict uh, that that we feel is almost uh, certain to come unless God intervenes. Uh, we're going to face uh, conflict in the north, and for us as a community, the greatest issue I think are for families with small children. And would ask your prayers for the for the uh, believing body and for the residents in the north, uh, families with small children. How to how to uh, get through this uh, this time, the uh, this time of prayer and fasting, and national leaders, uh, Jews and Arabs, meeting together around the nation is very, very important, uh, just as you said, uh, Jurgen, and uh, as Salim ha- has said. And um, we're joining into that wholeheartedly as a community. In fact, we're going to uh, host that um, that prayer gathering on Wednesday morning at Kehilata Carmel on Mount Carmel. So uh, Salim, I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, on Wednesday morning. Hope that you're there. And uh, we really feel it's, it's important to stand together. Um, Thank you for 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 this this prayer meeting, um, being a part of 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 being a voice. You know, I felt like a voice in the wilderness, you know, in 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 some some way, and and the, I really felt like the and the 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 anointing of the Lord 
is on that is on that voice to uh, uh, awaken the church in in the nations uh, to stand up because it's a time of uh, of of crisis and great danger. Uh, it's so wonderful in this meeting to see uh, Ray and Jill Lockhart. Uh, I, I don't know people you may not know, but but more than thirty years ago they were instrumental in getting our little congregation situated right there on Mount Carmel. Uh, and so we go back with them uh, uh, many, many years, and they're, they're dear friends of ours. So uh, God bless you all. Pray, pray for the families, families in the north. Pray for the uh, Jews and the Arab leaders that will be are fasting and praying, will be meeting, meeting together. Pray for the church in your nations and, and, and ask God, how can, I, how can I speak out? How, how, can, how can the church be positioned and fulfill our calling as watchmen? You know, if the if the watchman sees the enemy coming and speaks out with a with a clear voice and blows the trumpet, uh, then then God will 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 intervene. But if if we're silent at such a time as this, uh, then the 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 responsibility is on our own shoulders. In fact, I think the word of mm -hmm. God says the the blood of the of the innocent will be on us. And may that not happen. Uh, may this this prayer meeting uh, continue to be a, a light that's shining out from Israel uh, to the nations.